There comes a time in all young actors' lives where they have to decide what they want to do with their careers long term. Do they want to be respected and win Oscars? Do they want to become a comedy legend? It seems like the possibilities are endless in the bright futures that belong to young Hollywood. But sometimes all they want is to kiss their significant other and get paid for it. What is up you guys? It's Susan Morad here with Clever News and that seems to be the case with Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt, aka Bughead. I'm sure you all know them from their CW show Riverdale as well as their tireless efforts to troll the media for talking about them and their relationship. Remember that haunting W Magazine cover from last month? Well, they are obviously pretty private about their relationship. They're kind of the antithesis to Sean and Camilla. Like, Cole and Lily have now been a couple for over two years. And they have maybe, like, what, three photos total of them kissing? They don't even always sit next to each other in group photos. Sounds like this guy did his research. I and that's fine because, you know, celebrity PDA can kind of be cringy sometimes, especially when they're shoving it down your throat. Figuratively speaking, of course. But nevertheless, Cole and Lily have gotten quite the reputation for dragging media outlets who report on their relationship. But on screen, they seem to be much less shy about their PDA. Thanks for coming to meet me. It's like they put on the beanie and the wool sweater and all their inhibitions are gone. In fact, Cole recently went on live with Kelly and Ryan to talk about this brand new season of Riverdale. Fans of Riverdale will know that Kelly actually made an appearance in the last season of Riverdale as Hiram Lodge's mistress, who is played by Kelly Ripper's real-life husband, Mark Consuelos. So Kelly, probably fully already knowing, asked Cole what they can expect from Betty and Jughead this season. And Cole responded, a little bit more of that, meaning that we can definitely expect to see a lot more Bughead coming our way this season, much to nobody's surprise. I mean, they've garnered such a huge following of Bughead fans over the last few seasons that they've been together, so why stop now? Especially when their relationship in real life is going so well. In fact, he told Kelly and Ryan that the producers are now contractually obligated to make sure that he and Lily have as many kissing scenes as possible for the show to make sense. Not that the show really actually makes that much sense anyway, but okay. Cole said that he's gone so far that it has officially been written into his contract. Okay, okay, so he was totally joking about the whole thing, of course. But he did give a pretty earnest answer when they asked him what it was like to have to kiss his actual girlfriend on camera and in front of the entire crew. He said, quote, If we have a kissing scene, it's fine. We don't really think twice about it. It would be more nerve-wracking if you had to make out with someone that you didn't know. So if by chance we do end up having to kiss each other, it's fine and it doesn't feel weird. And like, yeah, I agree, of course it's fine. I mean, it's just a kiss and it is your girlfriend. Low key, they really should have asked about what it's like to have to film some of those sexy time scenes in front of the cameras and the crew. Or what it's like to film some of those scenes where Dark Betty comes out and she starts stripping to Mad World or the Hokey Pokey. Or how about the times that they broke up and started kissing and sexy timing other people? I mean, Cole and KJ Apa are pretty good friends on and off the show. And I know it's acting and it's all for the camera, but it's got to still feel a little bit weird. But I guess nothing gets in the way of true love. Lily even brought Cole home to meet the parents. That's how you know they're definitely serious. She got photos of him with her dad as well as her super cute dog. They went to Lily's home for Thanksgiving last year, so maybe with Thanksgiving coming up in just a few weeks from now, we'll be getting more rare kissing photos of the couple in real life. But right now, you guys, I really want to know what you think of all of this. Are you hoping for even more Betty and Jughead PDA from this season of Riverdale? And also, do you love getting a glimpse into their private relationship off the cameras? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And while you're down there leaving comments, you guys, hit that subscribe button if you haven't before. It's really easy. It's like this cute little button. I'll give you a few seconds. Cool. And also hit the bell to be notified the second we post a new Clever News update. After that, catch up on all the news you missed right over here. I'm Susan Morad. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you later. Bye, guys.